All right, just dive right in. We're gonna, I'm gonna make a new game. We got our signature uh, finger again, pointy, pointy finger hand again. So, looks like, um, yeah, we got a much deeper roster. We got, like, uh, yeah, we got now, like, some, we got a, a minimum of 24, uh, a minimum of 24 characters rather than, uh, um, rather than, I think there were about 16 last time in Hot Shots 3. <laughs> what in the heck is that? The little runny dude. Is that is that like alluding to some kind of speed golf thing? Because if there's a if there's a speed golf, then you bet your ass I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it at some point. Cause yeah, speed golf was always my jam back in the day. Oof. So we got a similar-ish sort of main menu, but definitely definitely a, a little more polish here and there. Yeah, this is surprisingly good for PlayStation 2 standards. I think overall Toadstool Tours, um, from everything I've seen, still looks slightly better, but part of it is just because the game natively outputs progressive scan output, whereas Hot Shots does not. Hot Shots is still limited to interlaced output, and so... And so you have to run it through deinterlacing, and that in turn will very slightly sacrifice, uh, will very slightly sacrifice quality. But no one wants, no one wants to watch the, uh, the picture just bob up, you know, rapidly bob up and down all the time, especially people with sensitive eyes and all that. No, that's one of the things that makes retro gaming so difficult without some kind of, uh, without some kind of intermediary such as the retro tank. Alright, so... Options are very similar here. Ooh, background music is actually on by default. That is already an upgrade. Whereas in Hot Shots 3, you had to manually turn it on. The default was off. Three foot gimme. Yeah, might as well. Although, if I ever speedrun this, then that option is getting turned off. Because then that means that my opponents can't stall in, in matches by making an extra shot. So... Yep, welcome Tarzan. Just jumping uh, into... This is gonna be, uh, yeah, I'll spend a little bit of time figuring things out here, but yeah, I'm just gonna get right right into it, so... Ah, you can pick the uh, menu character, that's fascinating. So we got Erica, and then I guess Erica's the only one right now, but maybe, might as well just mix it up. Wallpapers, cutscenes... Ooh, these passwords, those must be like for special tournaments or something. Okay. Simple stuff. Okay, and then you got your typicals, like, you know, watch replays. Oh, okay, so, oh, okay, so they got ones that you can manually record and rather ones that aren't like automatic so ah so i could cheat but i really don't want to do that because i'm i'd be i'd be playing the whole game anyway so short course manual it still it still sucks that you can't uh, that you can't save replays for for just straight up eagles they have to be chippins unless you, unless you do the manual record option so Heck. Okay. Figure out how to do that. And then it's- and then yes, it seems as though items, equipment, and all that good stuff makes a return. Which is good. Which is good. And then on that note, yeah. Ah, so Stacy's- Stacy's running the shop, okay. Alright, Turbo Spin Clubs. Alright, so yep, those enhanced spin. And you've got your straight golf ball, which I've made the graphics good enough to where you can maybe kind of sort of actually read the word on the ball. 
Although, I think maybe it's more present in the game where anytime, like, the camera will zoom in on the ball for dramatic effect, then you'll be able to actually, like, read any of the monograms and stuff. But, heavens to Betsy, Stacy. All right. Toggle with them triggers, and then... What the... Is that Pikachu? <laughs> tell me, tell me you can't have Pikachu in, in a PlayStation game. That just doesn't seem right. But, whatever. So, yeah, it looks like here we got some silhouettes of some Polystation characters. We got this weasel that looks suspiciously like Daxter. Then we've got this robot that looks suspiciously like Clank. Oh boy. Alright. Okay, so there's a lot of characters, lots of, lots of things. But, none of that really... Oh, and of course, the hot tips make a return. Pinch hit coupons? I never used a single one in Hot Shots 3, and I had like 30 of them. Never used a single one. Okay. Well. Thank you. Yeah, let's just, yeah, just dig right in, because I gotta get points and, and stuff. Nine hole matches? Whoa, okay. So that, so that cuts the, that cuts the time significantly if the matches are only nine holes. Tournaments are as long as ever. Huh, that's weird. So it is it like the is it like the tournaments are? So the tournament. So it's, it's not like you know multiple year multiple years and multiple seasons and all that. And it's just interesting. Okay. Hmm, maybe I'll maybe it'll be, be more apparent to me as I go along. But alright. Alright. So what's our, our roster like? We got We got weak generic girl with bad power and spin but decent control and impact. And then we got a generic guy. Slightly stronger. But slightly less control. Ah, then we got... Mel's back as a playable character. Fascinating. He was caddy last time. He was caddy in the last time. Oh, and it, sh it, it shows, like... Um, different lies that characters are, are better out of. Like, you know, this, this lad here has better... Uh, uh, has better impact and or distance control out of rough and no notable weaknesses Whereas Mel is Mel can handle himself well out of sand Which is a trait that his daughter Stacy shared in the previous game that she was better out of sand, but she was weak out of rough Oh, and then Tiffany's back, okay All right, so that's all we got so far so that's all we got so far. So yeah, we got Cheerleader, we got Tony Hawk Wannabe, we got Mel, and we got, well, uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. So, yeah, might as well just experiment and see if anything notable has changed. Okay, then we got different clubs and, let me see. Okay, so interestingly, we already have Couple extra clubs to play with, no extra balls to play with yet, it seems. Toggling with the second triggers rather than the first triggers. I wonder what the hearts mean. So far, so far these characters have hearts that are as dark as coal. So maybe, maybe we gotta, you know, open their hearts or warm their hearts and something, and that could be a mechanic of some kind. I have no idea. Oh, okay, and then there's little trajectory things. So Mel hits high fades. Tiffany hits a moderate straight ball, and then this lad hits a low draw, and so he's kind of like Spike almost, in a way. And then Phoebe hits a standard straight ball. And then, let's see, beginner's clubs... Okay, so we lose 4% power, but we gain uh, impact. And then everybody clubs... Well... Okay, so that dramatically reduces power even further, but the impact stat just totally changes. So maybe what this means is that it's it's auto impact. So 
it's it's perfect impact no matter what. Which, if I'm gonna be honest, that could be very, very useful at times. I might actually use these clubs every now and then. Because if you're using stronger and stronger characters with worse impacts, then maybe sacrificing the power is, is worth it, especially in a speedrun setting where not having to worry about impact could save you a fraction of a second every single shot, and that would add up. And that's part of what makes Disney Golf so fast if you if you pick Morty Mouse. Um, he's the character that is the weakest, but is has basically S plus impact, so he has perfect impact with every shot, so. Yeah, fascinating. Okay. Oh, okay, and then yeah, we you can just you, you can just choose the skin here instead of having to go through button combos. So okay, so Phoebe's basically a cheerleader. It's only three days to homecoming. What is what was that about 3D? I don't know. Oh, and I guess you can choose the caddy now too. So we got so we got Amy, this this nice lady, then we got Bertha's back. And we got this guy, Greg, who kind of looks like a mechanic or a gas station attendant or something. But yeah, definitely he looks like a mechanic. Yeah, so that's all we got so far, so... But it seems like we'll be able to unlock a lot more as we go. Let's just get started. Okay. Let me know if I need to uh, adjust anything, but I did a little bit of testing, and I think uh, things should look and sound pretty good.